He started to tell me in detail how he cheated on me. He started pulling down her skirt. Continue in the story. Wife of five years revealed she cheated on me less than 24 hours ago. Advice. I'm a 30M, she is 26F, she cheated on me less than 24 hours ago. She claims it's the first and only time, but I don't think I can trust her. I'm a shift worker, so I was on my night shift from 6 to 6, when the infidelity took place. Yesterday night, she left with our two daughters, to take them to her parents' house. I left to work my shift around the same time. She was dressed nicely, because after dropping our daughters off, she was supposed to be attending a birthday party at a local restaurant. Around the time they were finishing eating, I called to check in with her to see how she was doing and if they were doing anything afterwards. She told me they planned to go to a bar, then she would be headed back to her parents' house to stay the night there with my daughters. I told her okay be careful and I loved her. After this point I had tried texting her a few times, but she never responded. I just chalked it up to that she must be busy with her friends or that she had already made it back to her parents and went to sleep. Then around 4.30 am, she calls me hysterically crying saying that I needed to come home because she was spiraling and needed me to help her. She didn't explain why just that she needs me immediately. So I leave work early and rush out to meet her at our house. I got home before her and started calling her to see where she was at but the first couple times I called she didn't answer. But then she finally picks up and is still crying. Saying things like, she wants to kill herself and, she doesn't want to be on this earth anymore. Because she suffers from anxiety and depression I immediately thought she is just in a bad place at the moment. I just start reaffirming her that she's loved and that whatever is going on we can work out if she will just get to the house so I can comfort her. She almost immediately stops me and says that I needed to stop because when she got there and told me what she needed to tell me I was going to hate her. Instantly when she said this I felt sick to my stomach. She eventually pulls up and at first doesn't want to get out of the car. But after me standing at the door to her car, for a few moments she opens it. She then tells me that she had cheated on me with a guy she went home with from the bar. All the air went out of me because I would have never expected this from her. I then asked her what the guy's name was and she told me his name was Christian. A little backstory. She likes social media, so she is usually always on Snapchat, Facebook, or TikTok. There has been several instances that she has either willingly told me or that she showed me that guys were messaging her. But if they ever became flirty she always informed them that she was married or she blocked them completely. About two weeks ago, she informed me that a guy was messaging her through private messages on Messenger. And that he was being flirtatious so she blocked him. That same guy found her on Snapchat though and began messaging her on there. She then told him that she was married and that she was not interested but to my knowledge never blocked him in any way. I asked what his name was and she told me it was Christian. So flashback forward to her telling me she cheated and that his name was Christian I connected the dots that it must be the same guy. I asked her if it is the same guy and she said yes it was. She claims he saw her posts on Snapchat that she was at that said bar and went to seek her out. When he got there they proceeded to talk and she became drunk and said she was feeling vulnerable and decided to go back to his house with him. Where they proceed to having sex. She said she immediately regretted it and started crying for him to bring her back to her car so she can go home. Which then led her to telling me within a few hours after doing it. After she told me I asked why she had done it says that I had not been showing her enough affection lately, so she was feeling separated and lonely. So when he showed up telling her that she was beautiful she could not help herself, but feel good about it. I felt heartbroken because I have devoted my entire life to my daughters and my wife. If I'm not at work I'm with them every moment I can be. Even though I do have a hard time showing affection because of the way I was raised. But I've been that ways since we first met six years ago. She claims it was a giant mistake and that it will never happen again if I just forgive her. But she claims that I should take part of the blame too since I didn't show her enough affection. I just don't know how to feel. Did I really fail her as a husband that led her to do this or was she already wanting to do this but now regrets it and wants to try to shift the blame? I still love her but I don't think I could ever trust her again.
I don't think I'll be able to be romantic with her without picturing them together if we do decided to try to work things out. But if we don't I'm afraid I will not get to see my daughters like I want to. Which is what I think I'm most afraid of. I just want someone's advice I don't want to go public with it yet with our families because I know it's most likely is going to cause irreversible turmoil. HS Band, 29M, has completely 180D his life plan since we got married a year ago. I, 27F, want to support him but feel like it's unfairly altering the future we agreed on. New. My husband and I have been friends since we were 15. We dated for a few years, age 15 to 17, and split when we went to college, ultimately finding each other again our senior year of college and we've been together since then. Don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, thank you. When we got back together in college, he was hardcore into a club sport at our university. He decided to move after college and pursue a professional level. I stayed at university for an extra year to get another degree. We made visits as much as possible, but due to his schedule, it was mostly me driving to him every weekend possible, with days mostly spent watching him play his sport. Don't get me wrong, I love this. He was great at it and I loved seeing how happy it made him. After graduating, he mentioned wanting to move overseas for a year to continue pursuing his sport at a higher level. I didn't have much in savings, but decided to go with him because he was going with or without me. After being overseas for a year, we moved back to where he was playing his sport after college. This was a semi-professional level and the club had deteriorated quite a bit while we were overseas and became more of a drinking club than a sport club. When practices started affecting work, leaving work early 2x slash week for practice and never working scheduled weekend rotations, we had a difficult discussion about leaving the sport in the past since it's not a paid job and his paid job was being risked by leaving early so often. Ultimately, he agreed it was best to focus on work, but it wasn't an easy decision by any means. We discussed our future many times leading up to our engagement in 2018, as well as our marriage in 2021. We were on the same page with nearly everything, certainly all the big stuff, paying off debt, buying a home, having kids, communication, saving slash retirement plan, ideal location, to settle down, etc. Since getting married he has shifted quite a bit in his views. During the summer I noticed mood changes occurring and it took him months to share what was bothering him he wanted a career change. The career change started with switching trades, which was fine besides going through a four-year apprenticeship before reaching the salary level he is currently at, but we were finding solutions to make it work together. Then it shifted into a whole different field, firefighting. We weighed pros and cons and ultimately found out that he cannot join due to a medical condition. Then it shifted to military slash special forces, also can't because of the medical condition. He has now settled on joining the military reserves. Since we have known each other, he has known my views regarding serving in any capacity. I have the utmost respect and gratitude towards our service members, but that is not a lifestyle I wish to be a part of. It's too much stress, too much time apart, financially straining, and the risk of losing my partner is not worth it in my opinion. Even with knowing this information, he is adamant about joining the reserves because they don't disqualify for his medical condition. Due to the nature of the job and training, his hours would be reduced at work, he would be gone weeks at a time throughout the year, and he would be putting his life at risk whenever he is deployed. We had a plan to be buying a house by next fall, having kids within a year of buying and starting to build their savings as soon as the house was bought. We've been working towards buying a home for almost three years now. We've been adamant together about having kids before I'm 30 because of reproductive issues that run in my family. Now he's willing to push all of that back by three years to join, contract is three years. We've looked at the numbers and buying a house would likely be delayed by one to two years, and I refuse to start trying for kids until he would be done because I'm not remotely interested in being a single parent a few days a week let alone for life if something were to happen to him on the job. I'm really hurt that despite knowing my feelings he still wants to move forward with this. How disappointment towards me being against it is literally the saddest I've ever seen him since knowing him. I really want to support him and help him chase his dreams and feel fulfilled, 
but what is the limit when I know it would destroy me mentally? I feel a bit of resentment because I feel like, for the entirety of our relationship I've been going along with his dreams and passions and adjusting mine to make things work. This was a mutual understanding that once his sport was over it was time for me to buckle down and pursue what I wanted career-wise, which just happened less than six months ago. I feel like you go into a marriage with an understanding and mutual agreement of how you see your future, what you want from your future and when. Now all of what we discussed is being pushed back by three years because he wants to chase yet another career. My other question that he wasn't able to answer was what's going to happen after his three-year contract would be up? He would be working in the same field he is now, and if he hates it now I can't see how this move would be productive if he's going to be back in this spot three years from now. His level of sadness is making me feel like I am holding him back from having a fulfilling life or something. I don't want to be the reason he regrets anything, but I also really wish there was a more mutual respect slash understanding surrounding this topic. Also want to add that the career just doesn't seem realistic given the goals and timeline we discussed and also my views that he's known about for 10 plus years. I really wanted T.I. go to medical school after moving back to the country, but after a quick discussion regarding the time it would take and the debt it would bring on from loans, it was quickly squashed and I compromised by pursuing a career in the medical field that I could do with the degree I already had. He feels unwilling to make a similar compromise. It is all or nothing to him. Has anyone navigated a similar situation in a marriage? How do I support him without going against my personal views? How do I handle resentment that comes from him disregarding my views and our agreements? Is this a deal breaker? Neither of us want to lose each other, but if he goes, I'm afraid I won't be able to look at our relationship the same because I will be a different person. I'm afraid if he doesn't go, he will always regret not pursuing what he feels is a passion and that will be because of me. TLDR, husband is set on pursuing a career that changes the course of the future we agreed on and also goes against my views that he's known of for over 10 years. OOP's wife held a talent show at their wedding reception because she wanted to read a poem. Her friend who sang networked with a guest who happened to be a producer. She then became bitter for weeks. Original post, October 14, 2022. I am 28, knew her since college and I'll get that out of the way first. The past few days have shown a different side of her that's a little surprising because Kate is her best friend from college. My wife, Nancy, wanted to do a mini talent show at our reception, and she talked it up beforehand too. She read a poem that she made for the event, and Kate performed a song that she wrote. Long story short, one of the guests who I invited is into producing, and he reached out to her after she performed. They exchanged information, and Kate was really excited. He wanted to network with her following the reception, and she even thanked my wife for hosting the talent show over text. But Nancy became really bitter about it, and that's why I'm writing this. She hasn't responded to Kate's message, and she said she regretted doing the talent show too. She also asked me to block Edward, the producer, on my social slash contacts, and I told her that that seemed a bit much. She didn't like my answer and said that I was wrong to not take her side after just getting married, but I told her that she should be happy for her friend. She didn't like that either and vented to some in our friend group about how Kate was bragging, but some of them disagreed. She said she didn't want to hang out with them for the time being, and that included me too. Two of her girlfriends even texted me that she was overreacting and that they were also surprised to see her act that way, they also asked if she was okay too. My dad is suggesting counseling and said that asking me to remove friends is an unhealthy way to start a marriage, and I'm honestly more than a little scared. I asked if she'd be open to counseling, but she said there was no need because Kate was her friend first and I shouldn't choose Kate over her. I just want to ask what to do next since she refused counseling and sees no issue with cutting off our friends. Edit, I want to add that Nancy complained that her poem didn't get as good of a reception as Kate's song. Kate didn't study music in college, but practices on the side, and her text was really thankful for the opportunity that the talent show provided. Kate is also engaged to her longtime boyfriend. Update, November 1, 2022. It's been a little over two weeks since my first post, and I've had some time to try and process.